Hey guys, this is MacHeads101. I know that a question that a lot of people have been asking for a while is whether you should use I Show You or ScreenFlow. Okay, and so, um, well, my answer to you, this is my answer, I don't know if you should, um, you don't have to listen to it, but, um, I record all my videos with ScreenFlow, and, um, I just like it a lot more, because, um, the, the, okay, because first off, when I open when I, when I open ScreenFlow, like if I want to make a new recording, the only thing it asks me is if I want to um if I want to record um the audio, the video, and the computer audio, and if I open up um if I open up, let's see, I show you, it's gonna ask me all these questions, and um the recording area there's this little box that follows you around that can kind of annoy you and then when you finish it just makes this movie on recording your area desktop. there's this little box that follows and you can't do much with it you have to um bring it into a separate application if you want to edit it uh i guess iMovie supposing that you have iMovie okay but i know that they made an i show you hd which is um more advanced but it still um, has that same problem with for me, where um, you do all the editing before. Once once you're done, you can't really edit your video. So I tested it out because when I first started making tutorials, I used I show you because it's all I knew about. Then when I so someone showed me ScreenFlow, I'm like, whoa, this is cool. So I started using ScreenFlow. Then I tested out I show you HD, and I didn't quite like it as much. So I didn't buy I show you HD. And one last thing that I want to point out is, um, if you like, well, if you're making tutorials for your Mac, which you probably are, because I show you on screen for our Mac applications, you probably care what Apple thinks. So Apple doesn't really make a video saying what they think, but if I, I notice that if I go to Apple's developer website, so if I go to Apple iPhone Developer Center, Hold on, my internet's kind of slow today. Okay, so um, by the way, you can only you can access this page, but not the next page. I'm going to show you unless you're a registered developer, which costs a hundred dollars. So don't ask me how I access this page. So if I go to um, the program portal, here they have a whole bunch of videos showing you how to do stuff. So I, let's say I want to look at Apple, one of Apple's tutorials. By the way, I don't take any credit for this video. I leave full credit to Apple. I'm just trying to point something out to you. Okay, so if I play part of the video, waiting for it to load. Okay, so basically they're just trying to tell you how to do something, but I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Team admin should navigate to the app. Okay, all I want to show you is that if you look at their uh, tutorials, um, so, and some of them they hide it, but they do. You're gonna, you are going to see that screen flow icon in the dock, and at least in some of their videos, because the Apple does use screen flow to record their videos. So yes, um, I just thought that you might care about that. So yes, the big boys Apple do use screen flow too. Thank you for watching. By the way, if you do prefer I show you, then just um, don't get mad at me. I was just pointing out my opinion, and yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching. Goodbye, and have a nice day.